Why are used Toyotas so expensive? Is it vans that look like milk cartons on wheels? Cars with less horsepower than kids' tricycles? Or vehicles with as much personality as Mr. Rogers right here? No, none of those are the reasons, but we're gonna share why in fact used Toyotas do hold great value and are very expensive on the used car market. Let's get into it now. Life's too short to drive boring cars. The first key reason why used Toyotas are so expensive comes down to what Toyota owners and buyers actually value. That's reliability. Yes, they have unparalleled, unmatched reliability in the industry. Technologies like continuously variable transmissions are only mastered by a Toyota brand. Almost everybody, including Honda, as well as Kia and every other manufacturer that goes and puts a continuously variable transmission into their car always winds up with problems. But Toyota somehow gets it right because they keep drilling at it until they figure it out. As well as other technology that proves that they dig in until they get it right. Right here, hybrid vehicles right there like we have on this brand new Crown Platinum Edition. Beautiful cars as you can see, they have gorgeous design themes throughout, beautiful laser cut rims and a new set of headlights that's very bold and flashy. The Crown is actually Toyota's upscale version right now, almost fights Lexus for top spot in terms of luxury vehicles. There really are no other manufacturers that currently beat Toyota and Lexus in terms of reliability. Look at consumers reports, they're always in the top three. So on one hand, while they're trying to exercise new technologies like hybrid, they clearly have that mastered. They also are working on hydrogen powered technologies. The fact remains all of their internal combustion engines as a whole are vehicles designed with a purpose. Simplicity, low cost of maintenance and reliability. For example, while a lot of brands are clearly stepping up and putting in turbocharged four cylinder engines, turbocharged V6s, Toyota has decided to delay that transition and they've continually put out engines like the three and a half liter V6 that makes 300 ponies that is ultra reliable and has been around a long time. Cars like the Toyota Camry right here we have an SE this is a four-cylinder two and a half liter naturally aspirated makes over 200 horsepower strapped up to an eight-speed automatic transmission which is clearly a conventional and durable type of transmission they minimize the technology it's front-wheel drive and you can get an optional all-wheel drive but the bottom line is they keep it simple and that keeps it reliable so while other relatively reliable brands like Honda as well as Nissan are working on other technologies bringing turbos and CVT transmissions and trying to find ways to either improve performance, improve efficiency and reduce costs, Toyota just keeps it simple and they have for many years and that ultimately hammers reliability through and through and that's why people can trust Toyota. That's why the value stays high. The second reason comes down to something that we all know. Let's put it this way. If you win the lottery and you win $10 million dollars most people aren't going to say they're going to rush out and buy a Toyota like this most people think they're going to buy a Ferrari a Lamborghini that's all well and good but if people are thinking about the idea of hey I need a new vehicle to get around and I want it to last for 10 years or I want to buy a vehicle for my kids or my parents I want to make a recommendation what are you thinking about you're thinking about cars for example like Toyotas why is that it's because of the reputation of reliability the value for money bang for buck you're getting great features but you're getting drivetrains and technology that are definitely going to last the test of time. As I mentioned already, this Toyota Camry right here with a naturally aspirated four-cylinder engine is one of the most reliable cars on the market today. It has lots of space and when people need a vehicle to haul a family around, this hauls five people around in the lap of luxury. Vents and details, little lower splitters. This is the SE all-wheel drive. That means it's middle of the road sport edition and it comes with the all-wheel drive system. The interior is comfortable and has heated seats, power seats, sunroof, and every other piece of technology you could possibly imagine. But yet it's not expensive. You can get into one of these for $35,000, $38,000 Canadian. That's chump change in most markets for a brand new vehicle. Toyota has literally just garnered such a reputation of value and quality and reliability that it brings and commands a higher dollar on the used car market because not everybody wants to dole out for a new vehicle. And just to buy a used one, they just want to know that they can trust it. They don't want to spend a ton of money, but unfortunately you're competing with a lot of other people that also want that great used Toyota. And some of you loyal viewers are asking the question, Irviston actually asked the question, how much is Toyota paying you? Well, clearly we're talking about Toyota today and some of the reasons why they're holding higher value, but the bottom line is I'm not promoting any brand specifically. Nobody's paying me. I have no brand deals with any manufacturer. I truly believe through my experience that Toyota has a quality product they're not the best in terms of performance, but they certainly will get you around town for cheap 
effective and reliable motoring. So Irviston, sorry, no money on the table here for me. I just do it because I own one now as a result of a lot of my research. There's a 2015 Highlander hybrid with the CVT, all for $18,000. And it's clearly an expensive vehicle. This is used. It's already eight years old and they still want $18,000 because of the third reason, it's because of their versatility. This is an older Highlander here, but people still want this and it garners a significant dollar. Even with high miles like this particular unit has on it because Toyotas do everything very very well they're not so niche that you can't use it for everyday purpose almost every single Toyota has a reason to live they all have a fair amount of practicality a fair amount of economy built in as well as a fair amount of space and luxury you'll find with most Toyotas I mean when the weather gets bad a vehicle like this like a lot of Toyotas either you have standard or you can get an optional upgraded all-wheel drive system like this one has now this one has a CVT because this one is also a hybrid system but sometimes they come with strictly the torque converter automatic transmission which just makes it easy whether you're driving a CVT or a torque converter auto the vehicles are easy to get in and go you don't have to give them special instructions they're just easy to go they also have oil and maintenance services and intervals that are easy to manage and cost effective they have average size wheels so when it's time to change out your rubber it's not going to cost you an arm and three legs the interior is extremely well built and comfortable and can house anybody almost any size shape and fashion it's a great vehicle has a lot of great luxury amenities and is just well wearing in this case you have seating for five as well as a little extra trunk space and even most of their cars have four doors most of their cars have back seats all-wheel drive as mentioned already and even their pickup trucks have four by four extended or the little crew cabs the box they're built for day-to-day -day use and for your average everyday person that just needs versatility in their life that's why they're easy to sell and the price prices hold high on the used car market. Another reason why used Toyotas are worth so much money comes down to this. When you think of off-roading prowess and the capability to go off-roading, a lot of people automatically think of Jeep. Vehicles like this, that they're good for off-roading. And while these are actually quite good for off-roading because they're elevated ride height, you can get locking differentials and a lot of technology suspension that just makes them good for off-roading, the fact remains is it's a Jeep. It's a Dodge Stellantis. The quality reliability isn't there, so people belong to two camps either one you're the jeep camp or two you're the toyota camp and the toyota often the taco or essentially tacoma is the other vehicle that's of choice for direct off-roading because they have such off-roading prowess elevated ride height of course suspension that's very articulating that can handle it and durability so if you're in the back woods that that vehicle is not going to crap out on you and a very durable all-wheel drive system or 4x4 system we also can't forget about this lexus and we're talking about the gx model we have one gx here and another GX460 here they carry a V8 engine very torquey very powerful but the beautiful thing is it's not just a Lexus in certain markets these Lexus vehicles are actually known as Land Cruisers yes the GX is essentially the Prado which has a lot of technology ride height that can actually facilitate some off-roading as well as hill climb assist all kinds of tech that will allow this vehicle to reliably go off-road it's legendary for its off-roading prowess even more so the Land Cruiser in general which is a duplication of the LX series of Lexus they're bulletproof they're workhorses they're reliable they have the technology and they're again as I say legendary for off-roading prowess so if you want to go off-roading you either do the Jeeps or if you want reliability you go to Toyota Lexus. Another reason why Toyotas are so expensive on the used car market comes down to a simple fact that a lot of manufacturers, you can go buy, order, get your car, or there actually are a lot of them on the car lot today. Toyota is actually dive bombing into what they call just-in-time delivery. And then what that means is they're not housing a whole pile of brand new vehicles on the car lot. As you can see, a lot of these cars are available in the used market, but to try to find a good quality used Toyota is very, very difficult by today's standards. So people often have to wait. And you either wait for that just-in-time delivery when you place your deposit they tell you anywhere from six months to a year to get your brand new Toyota or if you have an actual hybrid that you've ordered up it might be a year and a half to two years to get your brand new Toyota so the fact remains is you have to wait if you're buying new so then that pushes people into the used car segment if you're now competing for the quality used car vehicles guaranteed is going to force the prices up there's not a lot of vehicles on the market people are competing for that and as well people just need to get into a quality Toyota 
Toyota. I'll tell you right now, back a few months ago, we were shopping for a used Toyota Camry. We looked the markets, we looked all over. When you actually start phoning around, every one of them seemed to have accident history, flood history, high miles, some kind of story that you didn't want. To find a quality used Toyota is actually a hard find by today's standards. So when you find one, it's worth some significant cash. We ended up saying enough was enough. We couldn't find quality. We end up having to put money down and bought a brand new Camry SE all wheel drive just because we were tired of looking for all the junk on the market. Again, as I say, used Toyotas that are in good shape are going to command a higher dollar. And that's why there's so much money on the used car market. So another great point why a lot of these used vehicles are so expensive comes down to R&D. So research and development money goes into these vehicles. Yeah, they don't quickly scab together. And of course, all those costs get transferred over. So they're a little bit more money for what you're getting in some cases if you're thinking about value, but they're actually a lot of those costs get transferred down both new and used vehicles. People know that. People have faith and that's why it pushes the used car prices up. They have faith in the research and development Toyota's put in. They don't just stop at, okay, it's good enough. They actually make sure that the CVT transmission is functioning better than everyone else, that it needs less maintenance and is more reliable. They also do the research and development to make sure their hybrid systems are as reliable as they can possibly be and long lasting. Minimal muss, minimal fuss. The engines are designed in a way so they're not running excessively hard. They're running enough to put out enough performance, but they're running a larger displacement and no turbos, resulting in a little better torque band, a little better drivability, but without stressing the engine with big turbos and small engines that are high strung. Instead, Toyota is deciding to put the research and development into a vehicle that clearly has a lot more thought behind it. And that way, people have the confidence in buying both new and used hence driving the prices up. Now that Toyota has joined the turbo land, are we going to see some deterioration or basically is that gonna hurt the brand as a whole? A lot of modern day Toyotas and Lexus, of course, as we can see here, have changed things. Yes, in fact, we know that that's not new news per se. You know, the old 350 was a V6 naturally aspirated. Now it's a twin, now it's a turbo four cylinder engine. Over here, you know, obviously a lot of Toyotas now, they're replacing V6s with turbo fours, V8s with turbo Sixes. And so this is, trend is happening this year and onwards. So yes, I truly do believe that may actually somewhat hamper the longevity of some of these engines. I mean, in fact, we know what turbos do. They create a lot more heat in the engine. There's a lot more pressure. And all for the sake of efficiency, what you're going to likely see, people who drive the cars hard may see reduced lifespan. People that do all their maintenance and drive it very easy and gingerly and still light on the throttle and every single acceleration, you may still get a decent lifespan out of it. So a lot of it's gonna be maintenance and the actual use, but yes, turbocharging is great for fun, not so great for longevity. And a big one why people buy used Toyotas for maximum dollars comes down to some of the repair costs and maintenance and servicing. Yes, that's right. They're relatively low compared to many other manufacturers. Can I even offer up repair pal quotes that the average Toyota over a 10 year span spread out evenly $441 if you break it down. Now for the first few years, you would only get expect to pay about a hundred bucks, $125 for oil changes. They'll check a few filters, but if you spread it out, batteries, fluids, filters, tires, brakes, the wear and tear spread it out over a 10 year time frame, $441. The most typical failure on these vehicles happens to be that center display screen. And personally, we experienced that in our brand new Toyota Camry. We had one that seized up it actually would work and show all the music and the stations on the stereo, but it wouldn't actually I'll put it to the speaker. It wasn't until we took it to the dealer, they disconnected the battery reboot, and then it came back to live. So there's some kind of hang up or glitch there. But other than that, these vehicles are bulletproof and the cost of maintenance is low. We right here, you have a set of 17 inch skins. When they're time to go, they're gonna be cheap. The brakes are small as well. We have small discs, small calipers. And so they're not high performance brakes, but they will do the trick for day to day driving and this is only going to cost you five six seven hundred dollars all the way around to do discs and pads on these vehicles the tires might only cost you 800 bucks all the way around oil change is a hundred and a quarter the batteries are small too so they're only going to cost you 100 150 bucks so you get the theme everything's smaller lighter softer duty you're not going to take that car to the racetrack at sebring it doesn't matter but if you want to get a to b drive around in comfort and quality and style they last a long time 
And then when they finally wear out, they're gonna cost you very little money to repair. And that's why people have confidence in buying these and why the used car prices are high because people are willing to spend a little more money on a vehicle that they know they can get two, three, four hundred thousand miles from because it's a simple car, easy to car to maintain, the practicality of it, as well as the electronics aren't too excessive and the vehicle will just last literally forever. And with all of that said, check that out. That's all about why used Mercedes-Benz are so cheap. Hope to see each and every one of you on the next one. We'll see you real soon. Bye-bye.